nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back, South Africa, and thank you for joining us yet again. Mondays will never be the same again, with the only blue thing about Mondays being the blue clover packaging. Our fresh milk chocolate banoffee pie is here to prove exactly that. When it's you know, caramel and me, we like marry. I know you, you oh. and caramel, guys. You and caramel is like me and recipes. So if you want to get our recipes, go on to afternoonexpress.co.za to know, find out exactly how we're doing this. So we're going to be showing people how to make a chocolate banoffee pie. Yes. Normally, banoffee pie is just Toffee and basically, let me explain. Banoffee means it's bananas and toffee, toffee yeah. inside this tart. But in, in our, because we like to change things up in the Afternoon Express kitchen, we've added some chocolate. I love that. To I start it off, <laughs> I'm going to be making the base of it. But we're using, because we're no longer about those Blue Mondays, guys, mm. we're going to be using our Clover Fresh Milk for the caramel. Normally, you'd use cream for that, but we want to show you exactly how versatile this ingredient is. So you're going to be showing us how to make the caramel for that. But before you do, I'm going to start with the base and for the base over here I've just got some um, digestive biscuits that I've just ground up and if at all you don't have a blender or anything like that you're more than welcome to just take um, a wooden a roller and actually just put the stuff into a Ziploc bag and then fight and get all the stresses out and get all the misery out <laughs> and all the lockdown out of your system and just knock it out. And then basically it's going to give you this nice sandy texture. You go in with some melted butter, put that into your tart. You and don't that put any sugar in there? No, so no it's sugar. just the biscuit. Yes, Great. because the biscuits already have the sweetness. And because of the caramel, we don't want to give you guys a sugar overload. <laughs> so once we've done that, I just go into my tart pan and I go in with the bread the crumbs, sorry, and all you do is you're going to try and press this down and make sure it forms a nice thick mm. crust. It needs like a nice biscuity base. Yes, it does yes. need that. Yeah. For the caramel sweetness and it needs that crunch Correct. with it. Yeah. And you don't want it to be too too hard and so forth. Yeah. That's why we're only using just a little bit of the butter because we still want it to be able to easily yes. to cut and so forth. And then after that you've shown us the caramel here. So you've just melted some sugar. So I've just melted some sugar. So I've just added sugar in my pan. Okay. And then you mustn't fiddle around with it too much. It, otherwise it crystallized so you can see it's now in an amber state like yes. an amber color and you don't want it to go too dark yes. otherwise the, the the caramel is going to be like a bitter yes. taste yes. and then we're going to take our fabulous blue bottle milk yes. over fresh milk we're going to add that and I'm just going to add a little bit to this and you know it lasts 18 days in your fridge 18 days on your shelf yeah. South Africa I'm not sure if you heard that and I've, I've been for a driver's test, I've <laughs> been, I've written my exams, I've done all of that, but never in one sitting did I ever take 55 quality tests for anything <laughs> But this milk has. I think so. we, <laughs> the guys, the driver's license do that, <laughs> like 55 quality tests. None of that, none of that. So basically <laughs> once this is thickened and once you've cooked that, that's going to be, it's going to be a nice thick texture like yeah. this. And this is now the second part of our tart or our banoffee pie. And then I'm just going to go in, obviously you're going to put this into the oven, bake it for like seven to ten minutes just on a low uh, heat because the whole idea is just for the butter to melt and for everything to basically mellow together and so this thick banoffee part with the oh. clover fresh milk is basically what we're going to have now we have this lovely layer which you love I uh, know because, because <laughs> I took the pan that that was in I said I'm going to take this pan home and lick it out. <laughs> she did South Africa she's not lying she took a whole pan she you basically almost licked it off of the I uh, know wow okay so I'm just going to layer the banoffee part of it, the banana part of it, onto our toffee here. And we're just going to do a couple of layers here. So it is quite sweet. So if you've got a sweet tooth, this is perfect for you. If you don't have a sweet tooth, find a different dessert. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely for me. And if you guys want the recipe, go to afternoonexpress.co.za. .co.za. Yeah. And then basically the banoffee pie, to the, the, the end of it, or the last part of it, is the cream. It's mm. normally topped with, topped with some cream and yes. so forth. So what I've done is this is where the chocolate part comes in. We're going to put some cho cocoa powder into our cream. Oh, that's what you've done with the chocolate. Yes. So half of it is going to be just normal cream. And that's been cocoa powder. nicely. Yes. And then the, the other part is going to have some of our cocoa powder. And all we do here is just 
fold this together. And you can also probably put like chocolate chips in there and just go wild with it. I would put like white chocolate in there. Um, you are and... hearing this South Africa. <laughs> She's, she would do a whole lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> to that panafi pie. And I'm going to devour that panafi pie with <laughs> you going tonight. Palisa, I know you're no longer doing uh, meat, but I don't know if your sweet tooth is ready for this dessert. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, you just top this up now with our cream. We start mm. with the chocolate. Mm. What are you doing to me, sister? <laughs> what are you doing to me? You're killing me. And all you do now is just work your magic and fold these all together and just oh. make a nice mixture of bananas mm. and toffee and cream. Oh, my word. And there oh. you go. Now, that's one way to freshen up your Mondays. And if you want this recipe, go on to afternoonexpress.co.za and make sure you get your hands on this amazing recipe. Polly, please come taste this recipe. Let me know what you think. Now, Polly, you're not going to taste. It's mine. <laughs> that whole thing is mine. You know what, ladies? <laughs> I don't have much of a sweet tooth at all. So I am happily will donate it to you, Anele. <laughs> but just give me a slice. You know, I can't give you absolutely anything. Just give me a slice and then we're good. Just a little bit. A small sliver for just you. Just a little a bit. small sliver. Uh-huh. So, ladies, you know, on social media, we have been finding out if people, who they would be having dinner with, dead or alive. And uh, can I put my little... A suggestion mm, in the please, box. Please, yes, please. please. I would love to sit down with Beyonce. Now, <gasps> hear me out. I'm not really a Beyonce fan like that. But what she's doing for the culture with the incredible um, Black is King movement and the movie that everyone was celebrating, she had our very mm. own Nandi Madita starring wow, as wow. Nala. I mean, <laughs> mind blowing. I almost want to have a sip of that just to quench my thirst. I'm going to quench my thirst. Because it's just absolute fire to see the work that powerful b women are doing across the board, whether it's here in South Africa as Nandi and the other ladies that helped up, out on that project, like Moonchild, Busi, Swa, you know, yeah. the list mm -hmm. does go on. And also seeing them collaborate with powerhouses like Beyonce. Yes, I actually personally love Remy Trene. Yeah. I don't know if you know her, and I think she's my power woman for me. I love yeah. her. <laughs> I do love her too. Oh, I love, we can keep going with this conversation, but join us again tomorrow, Mzanti, as we go on a fascinating journey with our inspiring guests, Frank Oji and Tandy Dry. Until then, good Good night, stay safe, Bye. and happy eating, Mzansi. <laughs> Nothing beats the long-lasting freshness and quality taste of Clover Fresh Milk. Made with love by Clover.